so we're outside and I'm hearing the birds chirping. Now, we're outside, it's partially cloudy. Is it partially cloudy or partly cloudy? I am by no means anybody who gets into deep into weather. All I know is this cloud cover, which makes for amazing light for photographers. Um, and again, there I go, I'm off topic. Yeah, so why are we talking today? Why are we talking today? Uh, we're talking because I want to share one of my top five books, one of my top five favorite books. It is called Black Sheep. And um, subtitle, Unleash the Extraordinary, Awe-Inspiring, Undiscovered You. Grant Mansborn. Had a chance to hear him speak. I want to say it was Imaging 2020 in Nashville. The world is getting all kinds of fuzzy because of, but I want to say, yes, had to be 2020 before the pandemic started. Um, had a chance to hear him speak. And the topic, I believe, I believe the topic was, you know, standing out as like a business leader or something to that effect. You know, because we're all like, it's a, it's a photography conference. Like there's so many of us who are providing a uh, photography service for a variety of reasons. And a question I have often received, because I've had the privilege to participate in a couple of small business webinars, is how do you stand out amongst a crowd when the market is saturated? The market will always be saturated, okay? Um, there's enough pie though for everybody. There's plenty of pie for everybody. Everybody, plenty. The catch, the catch in being able to stand out in, you gotta know that what makes you you is your special power. But if you don't know who you are, it's kinda hard to take advantage of that special power, you know? There will be no Wonder Twins uniting, activating, it's not gonna happen. So this book, this book talks about black sheep values. Um, you'll also hear it termed black of five. And the black sheep values are the values that are your non-negotiables, they are your core. And why they are called black sheep is because the wool of a black sheep cannot be dyed. It is authentically what it is. God, I love that analogy. Is that not beautiful? It's like, Ugh. is what it is. Right? It can't be molded, changed, it is what it is, through and through. So when you identify your flock of five, when you identify your black sheep values, your non-negotiables, you can live your best life because it is who you are, through and through. So the book goes into a couple of, a, a number of areas. You know, we talk about relationships, uh, where you put your energy, we talk about purpose, and I have given this book to a few of my friends, family, colleagues. I believe in this so much. You know, there's a lot of things out there in terms of self-development. There's a lot. None I have found are this easy. I found this. This is like, oh, this is easy. So once you define your core values, well then, you know, you just go. Now there is an exercise to figure this out. Like you can email him. You can email him for the uh, like worksheet. Actually, it's a workbook. It's a work. You know, to figure out what your flock of five are. But once you do that, after that, you're just you're doing your deal. You're just living your life. And I know right now that all over the interwebs, everything is be authentic, be you, stand out. Da da da. No offense. A, a lot of folks are wearing a mask, and it must be so tiring. So tiring to wear that mask. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. You cannot tell me that faking the funk every day is a good thing or that is healthy. Now, when I think about my flock of five, I've got it to where um, it, it represents who I am as a brand and who I am as a person. You know, I look to provide uh, a safe community where people can show up as their authentic self and I look at, you know, making sure that we have our well-being and our inner peace front of mind. Right? Like it's all, it's all, it's all in there. So when you think about what you do every day, because that's part of the exercise, you should recognize that you are living your flock of five. You are doing what you do. I get out of the bed, say my prayers. I get on the rowing machine, right? When I think about community, I am actively looking to connect with people. It's 
small business people, other shooters of, of whatever, because we want that safe community, right? Inner peace, let me tell you right now. My mama was quick in saying everybody ain't your friend, so feel good in doing things alone. Thanks, Ma. So, so we go through all of those block of five on a daily basis, right? I am walking in my purpose because I chose it. I know exactly what I'm here for. So if you get a chance, I'm going to highly suggest you hook on up to uh, Amazon or go to blacksheep.com. You can go to blacksheep.com as well. Give this a read. It's such a quick read. I did it like in two days. That's only because, you know, I had to go to work. Otherwise, I would just read it the whole night. But it came late. I digress. Stay focused, Gwendolyn. Stay focused. Uh, black sheep. Take some time. Look at it if you're trying to figure out how to find your level, or I should say find your authentic you. 